Hey Collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're going to talk about legitimate reviews. Reviewers come in all different shapes and sizes, ages and fandoms. What most of them have in common is the love of their hobby. Uh, the problem is that is not true of all reviewers. Before we begin, I would like to thank Proto Man from the Transformers Slag Podcast for his assistance with this video. You can find the Transformers Slag Podcast and the Transformers reviewers whose content that I borrowed in this video's description. I would love to just be able to think that everyone who reviews something is being 100% honest, but that's not the truth. Money has a habit of turning those who could potentially be great reviewers into those that do not have any love for the hobby. That is not to say that every reviewer is corrupted by money, but some are. The problem is that they get a lot of attention and that takes it away from the honest reviewers. Now, I have been paid to review items. I am actually given items periodically by a few manufacturers to review. The fact is that I get it for free and that does skew my review slightly towards the positive. With that said, I do mention in those videos how I received the product if I did not buy it myself. However, today I am talking about the reviewers who buy stolen items because they are simply looking to make a quick buck on being the first to post a review. I have identified a number of steps that can be used to help you determine if a reviewer that you are watching is legitimate. Do not use this as a blanket list to determine legitimacy as sometimes things happen beyond a reviewer's control. Number one, the item has been announced somewhere in the world. In this global marketplace, companies release products at different periods of time in different parts of the world. What we might be getting in the United States might be months after someone in the Philippines gets it. The same thing goes for the announcement of a product. Different countries may hear about a product way sooner than we do. What may be considered a leak for us is news from a few months ago for somebody else. The item is sponsored. Sometimes a company will send an unreleased or newly released item to a reviewer. It is required by YouTube, for example, to specifically mention that the item was sent to them by the manufacturer for review. Uh, so I'm just gonna open it up here on camera and find out what we have in this sucker. And, oh wow, oh wow. So, uh, calling all Autobots and Decepticons. Uh, the siege is over, but the war for Cybertron has just begun. We wanna thank you for your continued to support an interest in Transformers and the Netflix War for Cybertron trilogy by surprising you with a special package that is truly more than meets the eye. As Earthrise figures in advance of the upcoming Netflix premiere of Chapter 2, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Earthrise. War for, um, so we know what the, the toy line is. Continue, uh, thank you for your continued support. Be sure to tune in uh, for Chapter 2 uh, of Transformers, The War for Cybertron Trilogy, Earthrise, only on Netflix. We have more to share, share soon, so stay tuned. We're excited to share what is coming in 2021 and beyond. Transformers and the Hasbro team. Just cool really really cool and yeah so hasbro did send me this package and it really is just something awesome because um you know i i <laughs> you know i i didn't ask for it it was like it was just kind of like we were doing this because you know it's sending it to me for free so it's just really something awesome number three the item has been seen in chain stores sometimes items are never announced they end up on store shelves and with peer like someone finds them News travels fast, so by the time you hear about it, someone else has already bought it. The best way to know if an item has been released in your part of the world is to check if the item is listed for sale or pre-order on a chain store's website. Number four, the reviewer has the packaging. Assuming that the item has been announced and seen in store somewhere in the world, one would assume that anybody who had it would have its packaging. Re legitimate reviewers will typically show off the item's packaging and any contents within during the course of a review. Today, we're finally taking a look at the brand new Amazon exclusive Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Battle Across Time Collection, Maximal Grimlock and Autobot Mirage. 
So you got all that artwork. You get your Kingdom side panel here when it's not being uh, supplemented the other box. And look at that. Somebody made a huge deep cut in my box. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is officially Warp Star Patrol number 40. So we're getting pretty deep into the Kingdom toys now. All right. So on the back, we get our renders of the toys. And you can see Grimlock over here at 28 steps between his two modes. Mirage is 20. Okay, here's our big instruction book for our two new characters. So you get Grimlock and Mirage here. Number five, the reviewer has the card back or instructions if available. If the packaging is not available, sometimes reviewers will only receive the instructions or card back. The reason is primarily because some vendors will ship the product without its original packaging to save money. Number six, the reviewer has all of the expected accessories. If you see an item being reviewed and the obvious accessories that should have been released with it are missing, then maybe they never had them to begin with. For a new item, if the accessories are missing or incorrect, it typically means that the item was stolen from a factory. For an older item, it may be simply a case of the accessories being lost over time. Of course, if the reviewer does have the packaging and or instructions, it is easier to believe that the accessories have been lost to time. Of course, you also get Tricranius himself and what everybody wants this set for, this box of blast effects. Now, after getting the blast effects all out and organized by color, I can tell that the hot pink ones are the blast effects that came with Omega Supreme and Skylinks, where these light aqua blue ones are the ones that came with Jetfire. Now, there is a couple extras. You got the explosion ones that came with the uh, barriers, the battle masters that turned into ramps, and there's a couple blast effects that came with battle masters. Number seven, the item looks unfinished. Despite any quality assurance issues, when items such as action figures are created, they are typically cast in a gray sample molding. The next step after that is a casting to print the action figure in a solid color or two, then assembled. After that, details are placed onto the action figure and it is placed into packaging with any accessories and or instructions. If the review includes an item that seems to be in between the aforementioned steps of manufacturing, then you have to wonder how they receive the item. This is especially true if they also do not have the expected packaging, instructions, and or accessories. Now that you've had an idea what to look for, I would recommend taking a closer look at some of the reviewers that you follow. You should now be able to tell the difference between someone who obtained items illegitimately versus those who spent money on a hobby that they love. Again, this is not a blanket list to determine those who steal versus those who do not, as everyone has different circumstances. That is all the time I have for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.